goodness, this smells good. This looks good. And let's taste it. That's good. <laughs> That's good coffee. It took a long time to make this little bitty cup of coffee, but it's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> So here I am at this next phase of making one cup of coffee. I collected some beautiful cherry red coffee beans from my mom's house in South Central Los Angeles. These were beans that came straight from Blue Mountain, Jamaica. 
after I harvested those cherry red beans, I removed this cherry flesh and then I let them dry. After they dried, I removed the hull from the seeds, which was a very long process. Then I dried them again, and now they are in this skillet getting roasted. So this is just a very tiny, tiny little small batch that I'm testing to see how this is gonna come out before my mom's 82nd birthday celebration where we will have two big cups of coffee. Stay tuned. Okay, here's a small handful of roasted coffee beans. You see, these are the dried coffee beans that still have some hull on them. So these roasted, de-hulled coffee beans, I'm going to put in my, in my coffee bean grinder. I'm about to make myself a little cup of coffee just to kind of test it. See, I got a couple of hulls still, but it's okay. It's just for me. Give this a quick zap in my grinder. I'm gonna make some coffee. Stay tuned. Okay, this is my ground coffee. This smells so good. If you only knew <laughs> how good this smells, I. I'm going to now get my coffee pot ready. This is just going to be a small little cup of coffee. So I'm not going to add much water to this either. I get the strongest flavor possible. Okay, stay tuned. goodness this smells good this looks good and let's taste it that's good <laughs> that's good coffee I took a long time to make this little bitty cup of coffee but it's delicious mm, mm, mm. oh boy Yum, yum, yum. <laughs>